Hey, good morning. Aaron here at Otter Creek Farm in Otter Creek, Florida. Just wanted to do a video on the custom skid plate that we had, or I had added to the Massey Ferguson 4707. Uh, for two reasons. One is there were some exposed wires underneath, uh, some hydraulic lines, uh, little wire uh, pipes and things like that, that uh, I thought really, would, if I was doing some pretty serious brush cutting, uh, would not survive. Uh, that type of thing to get ripped off and broken certainly at the wrong times and then number two is ballast uh, you know that much weight down below provides an opportunity to um, you know add stability and traction to the tractor so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip you around and show you what the skid plate looks like and uh, you know some of the things that they did to make it uh, you know a more viable solution to you know uh, driving over heavy brush and and things that may damage a normal tractor so here you go Right. So the uh, the skid plate actually starts. I'm going to use the selfie stick as a pointer. Starts right here. Let me turn it down a little bit. The skid plate actually starts here. They've got three half-inch bolts. You can see down here. There's some very significant welds that they did and they shaped the uh, half inch steel plate and painted it uh, obviously not cut on a cnc machine so that would like be a step up for this but uh, on here you can see the skid plate goes all the way up here to the front axle it contours around uh, underneath in this area wraps around the uh, there's a cutout for the tire you can see here's the plate as well and this goes all the way around to the back and if we step around to the back here, you'll see how far the skid plate comes back, which is uh, all the way back here. So all of these arms and uh, connections and mechanisms back here are connected uh, or protected. And if we go around, let's go around the other side, and we'll look up underneath. And uh, yeah, so you can see it a little bit better on this side. So it can be taken down. Uh, here's some more bolts and connections, but uh, you can see the things that it's here to protect, which are you know these types of pipes in the back. Get that straightened out. These types of pipes and connections and hoses and lines that are running underneath the tractor. So uh, if we go all the way under the tractor, let's see. If we look under here we can actually see the entire skid plate giving us a single smooth flat steel surface to protect everything under the tractor. And I think probably blowing that out on occasion is probably going to be a good thing and necessary, but you know, for the most part, uh, this is what it looks like underneath. So if you're interested in this kind of customization, I would suggest contacting Ocala Tractor. Those are the guys that did this for me. Uh, I thought it was very reasonably priced. It's a one-off situation, but uh, I can certainly see how this could be popular among, you know, uh, users of heavy-duty tractors. And I'm not sure what that steel plate weighs, but it's probably 300 pounds and you got to use jacks to get it up and get it attached to the, to the, uh, the tractor frame. So if you're looking for that extra weight and you want to get kind of a dual benefit, then, you know, give Ocala Tractor a call and uh, see if the guys can and fabricate one for you. You know, you don't have to buy it new. All you gotta do is you're gonna turn your tractor over to them for a while and uh, their fabricator will go out and do this and uh, replicate, you know, what you see here. So, uh, pretty good option. You know, let us know what you think about uh, that type of customization and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, catch you later.